free to count nightingales at last, free to listen secretly to the sporadic shuffle of feet as the ugly kingdom empties of its servants, and the great abuser shakes loose his demon grip upon my dreams. I find lost vestiges of my past lives sprouting between these pine needles. I listen closely to the heartbeats within loblolly pine and white oak. At home beside the creek, flood water flows like a great green vein through bayou swamps, winding past these forest paths on which we walked hand in hand. These trails are paved in dead leaves and memories. I am free to feed myself breakfast before launching my ragged vessel out into a sea of highway traffic, inching along Houston roads past orchards of used cars and domino spotlight strip malls and country clubs made of tears. Free to sing, free to scream, free to touch and be touched. My orange peels are all grieving the death of moisture. My intestines quiver with hunger. My boots batter the bone-dry pavement in search of ancient riverbed. Free to breathe, free to weep, free to wander down jubilant avenues of night. Free to sleep, free to dream. My hands at last refuse the city's chains and bejeweled handcuffs. My heart repents fully. I am innocent no longer. I lay in gullies filled with Texas roots and naked stars. I dance through gutters shimmering full of broken glass and wonder. I am skin and bones, sorrowful and world-weathered, weary and worried. Free to dig my broken branches into the sand of chirping wetlands, whose trees like shattered teeth reach all around me, cracked and crooked and dry as the grave within. Free to clap my hands and listen to the echoes of the earth. Free to climb in and out of beds full of terror and delight. Free to speak without words, without hesitation. Free to be a stranger in the rain. Free to be a highway hotel spinning in the rear view. Free to become volcanic, to become ash, to burn my skin away into new formations. Free to become caressed with kindness. Free to become one. Free to grind these seeds down into a glittering coin. To pay the ferryman, to cross the lake of dread, and find you there at last. A solitary rope swinging in the breeze at nightfall.